Also tonight at five breaking news right here in central Indiana, a huge decision came down today in the Delphi murders case. A judge has essentially struck down the main defense. Richard Allen and his attorneys want to argue at his upcoming murder trial. Senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel joins us now. And certainly this is a big deal, Bob, today. Can you kind of lay out for viewers what this means for the case? Yeah, well, the defense strategy has been very clear. They claim that police arrested the wrong guy and that someone else murdered Abby Williams and Libby German back in 2017. They say they have evidence to prove it. Well, today, Judge Francis Gall issued an order deciding that a jury will not be able to hear any of that evidence. While Richard Allen has been behind bars awaiting trial for nearly two years, his attorneys have been crafting his defense. That defense includes collecting evidence that they claim shows two Delphi teenagers were killed not by Allen, but instead as part of a ritualistic sacrifice committed by followers of a pagan religion called Odinism. Today, Judge Francis Gall delivered a blow to that defense strategy. She granted a motion by the prosecutor that prohibits Allen's defense team from introducing any evidence that the girl's murders were linked to Odinism or a ritualistic sacrifice. And the judge said the defense cannot mention any of the nine people they've developed as possible alternate suspects. Judge Gall wrote, the court finds the defense has failed to produce admissible evidence demonstrating a nexus between Odinism, cult or ritualistic killing, the alternate suspects, and the murders. She went on to say the court will not permit the evidence submitted by the defense as the value of such evidence is greatly outweighed by confusion of the issues and its potential to mislead the jury. It's hard for me to wrap my head around that. Katie Jackson Lindsay is our 13 News legal analyst. What does this mean for Richard Allen and his defense team? It does put them at a huge disadvantage and it will it will require, I would think, a lot of adjusting, a lot of um, redeveloping their defense and really sitting down and deciding, OK, what is our defense now? Because we know from all of the public pleadings that their defense is they have the wrong guy. Jackson Lindsay says she's surprised by the judge's latest ruling, especially because at a recent hearing, we saw evidence showing even Indiana State Police looked into Odinism as they investigated the Delphi murders. And an expert witness on ritualistic crimes testified for the defense. She's absolutely certain Odinism was involved in the murders based on photos from the crime scene. They are sitting on this evidence that they know that they know is in existence and they never get to allow the jury to see that. So absolutely, they're at a huge disadvantage in terms of representing their client. And as a defense, you absolutely, if you have evidence or you have information that someone else is the bad actor, that someone else committed this crime, you have to be able to present that. So it, it, this ruling absolutely undercuts the opportunity to do that. And it's just not something that you see happen often. Now, in her ruling, the judge says she will allow Allen's defense to try again a trial to show a direct link between the Odinism evidence and the alternate suspects, but that will have to happen with the jury not in the courtroom. And if that attempt fails, the jury will not hear any of that evidence at all. So the only benefit of that is Allen and his attorneys will get the evidence into the trial record so that it could be considered down the road if Allen is convicted and he chooses to appeal. So it seems like there have been a lot of rulings against Richard Allen lately. Yeah, there, there had just last week, the judge ruled that uh, the jury will be allowed to hear more than 60 confessions that Allen allegedly made while he was in prison. That was a win for the prosecutor. Today's decision, another big win for the prosecutor. We'll now see if the defense is going to shift their strategy and they don't have a lot of time to do it. The trial is scheduled to begin in just six weeks. Right, seven and a half years for justice in this case. It's been a long time. We're waiting here six weeks. Of course, we will be uh, at the courthouse in the courtroom when, when the uh, trial happens, and we're expecting it to start in the middle of October. Yep, in Carroll County. Thank you so much, Bob. You can read more about today's developments and see our past coverage of the case online. Scan this QR code here. It'll take you to WTHR.com slash Delphi.